Give me Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 12. Why did you choose that path? Why did you choose that path? Something had to happen. Say it again. How old were you? Playing baby dog, Barbie dolls, with girls tag, you know, stuff like that. Girls tag, Barbie dog, touching, I guess. Yeah. Feeling and yeah. touching with the feeling. Yeah. And then one thing after another. Once you get 13, you got a girlfriend. Then you had a, you had a girlfriend before you had a boyfriend. Is that how things went yeah. for you? So you've been in that. You ever been with a man before at all? Yeah, I tried. You had you tried? It ain't work out well. All right, read what you got. 13 and 12, I think. Is that it? Hope deferred? Yes, sir. Yep. Here what you got. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 12. Hope deferred. Make it the heart sick. The Bible says hope deferred make your heart sick. Can you identify with that? Hope deferred make of the heart sick. Meaning what? Our people don't have hope. Right? Sometimes we know what's right. But we feel like I'm not good enough. Right? We feel like I'm not worthy enough. We got low self-esteem as a people, right? A lot of us do. A lot of us do. You know how I know that? Because there's such thing in our community as a boyfriend and a girlfriend. That shouldn't even exist. Shouldn't even be there at all. You understand? Say it again. Yeah, you should have a wife. Exactly. You should have a wife. But we don't have enough value for ourselves. So we give up what's most precious to us before anyone makes any commitment or sacrifice for it. We give up what we can't get back, right? For nothing, for what? A moment? That's what we give it up for. Why? Because we don't have hope. Read it again. Hope deferred, make it the heart sick. Come on. But when, but when the desire comes, the desire of hope, when it comes, when you recognize who you are, like the officer was bringing out, Right, you should you should be of feeling like you have like you have worth. You understand? Read. It is a tree of life. It should be a tree of life for you. Right? Do you know what the judgment is for homosexuality? It's a sin, an abomination. It's an abomination, right? But it leads to other things. It leads to it does. It leads to hatred. Some homosexuals, are some of the most hateful people. Why? Yes, hateful, not hated, right? Hateful. They say everybody hate them, right? But that's a displacement behavior. They really hate. They hate so much that they don't. They they willing to 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 allow their race, their existence to come to naught. It takes a lot of hate for you to say I'm not gonna reproduce. That's crazy. Homosexuals are some of the most hateful people in the world. Proverbs chapter 1. Pro oh, Romans chapter 1. I'm sorry. Is that where you at? Verse 17. Proverbs chapter 1. Excuse me. Romans chapter 1 and verse 17. Do you believe in the Bible? No question. All pray. Do you read the Bible? When's the last time you read the Bible? It's been a few months. Have you ever read the book of Romans? Can't remember. We're going to read it for you. Read what you got. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is wit as it is, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. Meaning, if we want to be justified by God, we have to believe in Christ. Along with believing in Christ comes what? Following his teachings, the things that he taught, right? Come on. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. The Bible says that God's wrath is revealed from heaven. Wrath is righteous, is, is anger. That's what wrath is. God's anger. Can you imagine that? You know what you do when you get mad, right? What you think God do when he get mad? Come on. Against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Right, because some of us know the truth. Some of us know God's commandment. Some of us know and believe in the Bible, right? That's the truth. Come on. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. Because you can look around and see God had to make all of these people. We had to start somewhere. Creation had to happen. Come on. 
because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has shown it. You got a you got a, a whole immune system in your body. Where did that come from? You got cells, cardiovascular system. Where did these things come from? God made them. Come on. For God has shown it unto them. For the invisible things of, of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. We can see the creation when we look around. The trees, the wind, the sky, the rain, right? Come on. Being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. We are without excuse of God, right? Come on. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. When we knew God, we glorified him not as God. Read. Neither were thankful, but, be, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. How do we become vain in our thinking as a people? What do we do to become vain and foolish as a people in our thinking? The Bible's going to tell you. Listen what it says next. Come on. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of, of, of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. We started worshiping idols. And homosexuality, don't you know that's idolatry? Did you know that? That's idolatry. You're worshiping an idol. That's idolatry. That's like sacrilege. That's like bowing down to the, you understand, to, to, a, to a, a, a wooden image. It's, it's like the same. Because in homosexuality, what you do is you make the woman your God. And you worship her. I can't worship God. You can't worship God <laughs> if you're in a homosexual lifestyle. You're worshiping Satan. You're not worshiping God. These are things your pastor, your mother, your father, they never told you. You're worshiping Satan. Not just you, all those that celebrate their birthday. Worshiping Satan. But it's a common thing today. So what does that mean? Idolatry is a common thing today. That's what that means. Homosexuality is idolatry. Right? Come on. And to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. Through the lust of their own. When you was a, a, little, a little girl and that girl touched you, that's called lust, right? It, you felt, it, she touched you, it felt good, right? You said, I, I wasn't supposed to do that, but I wanna do it again. That's the feeling you had, right? Because you knew it won't right. You knew it won't right. That's called a conscience. You understand, God's laws are in you, whether you obey them or whether you don't. They're inside of you. You know what's right from wrong, come on. To this honor, their own bodies between themselves. Then they dishonor their bodies between themselves. That's what we do today. When we have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a girlfriend and a girlfriend. Come on. Who change the truth of God into a lie. And worship and serve the creature. This is, this is the idolatry. Because we worship everything God created. And say we're worshiping him at the same time. No, we're not. We're worshiping Satan. That's what we're worshiping. Come on. More than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. To vile affection. God calls what we're about to hear a vile affection. Come on. For even their women. Their who? Their women. Their woman did what? Did change the natural use into that which is against nature. What's the natural use of a woman that's against nature? What is the Bible talking about? You didn't know that was in the Bible. Read it again. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. What is that talking about? The woman changed the natural use of her body to that which is against nature. What is that talking about? Man and woman, the way she's... A man's supposed to be with a woman. So if it's a good nature, against nature, 
Who was the woman with? A woman. You didn't know that was in the Bible right there. Read on. And likewise also the men, having the natural use, leaving the natural use of the woman. Because it's not just the woman that's doing that. It's men in that community as well. Come on. Burn in their lust. You don't want to burn in your lust. You don't want to burn in your lust. The Bible tells you not to go after your lust, sister. Yeah, the Bible says don't go after your lust. Don't do it. You know why? Because you're going to make a fool out of yourself. We don't want you to make a fool out of yourself. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 